So neither of my kids know how to come later in the evening. We're in the delivery room at 7.20 a.m. And I'll tell you exactly why, because her water broke 5.30 this morning. When she woke me up, I thought it was time to go to work. Thankfully, it was a Saturday, so that'll mean anything. So when we finally came up here to get checked in, the girl at the front desk said, are you Nicole? And I was like, it's kind of weird she's calling Alex by her middle name. We were like, yeah, we're Nicole. They were immediately signing us into a room for an induction. Your water broke the same day your induction was. We were like, no, we got another, another two more weeks before that. And then we just had to reset all over again. But we've probably been here total for over maybe hour, 20 minutes. So it's really not been that bad. And Levy kept telling Rayleigh, don't come before Halloween now. We got to enjoy our Halloween this year. And then last night she was asking mommy to make her some donuts. And she wanted to play Phasmophobia with me, which we haven't in a while. So we ate donuts, played Phasmophobia. And Alex sitting in her rocker had her legs straddled. Levy walked up to her and said, You can come now, brother! And well, my daughter's a prophet. She had a list. She called it. She said it was coming. She said, put up Michael, donuts, play game with daddy. Literally a few hours after that, <laughs> I've had little sleep. Starbucks run for uh, for Alex. But well, let's be real, I'm going for me too. Because as you know, hospital food is typically not very uh, friendly for vegans. Actually, I don't think it's friendly for anybody. But might as well get a coffee while I'm there. But oh my God, we are so in love with my boy, Rayleigh. When you're watching this a thousand times like your sister watched her birthing video, I want you to know that you and her were loved the moment we laid eyes on you. Really, truthfully, before that, I'm sure you'll be a Starbucks lover too one day. But I really gotta say, we were only there, we, we got there maybe six in the morning. Between six to 12 o'clock on the dot yesterday, literally at 12 o'clock, he was out. When I said Alex was progressing faster than I could open my eyes, I literally mean it. So I've been laying here, closing my eyes, and as soon as I open them, the nurse comes in, checks her, she's at an eight. I was hoping to try to get a nap in before he got here, but you know it's okay the nurse literally walked out to get something she was like i might want to check you again she was a 10. what and then she said don't push i don't want to be the one to catch him but it was an amazing experience i'm glad there were no complications i thank god for everything going easy alex felt it a little more this time because the the epidural valve wasn't turned up as much as it was last time which is fine you know this is it <laughs> kind of gave her a taste of what it really would feel like without it one of my most favorite parts was watching the reaction of levy 
Nate Raylan for the very first time. That is like, I knew it was going to be really good because she's been so excited. That's He's literally going to be her baby doll. I'm sorry, Rayleigh. You are your sister's baby doll, whether you like it or not. And now she can't wait for us to bring him home. I can't wait to bring him home. Plus, it was a rough night's sleep, partially because we kept getting interrupted by nurses. And just remembering the second night was usually the worst. It's okay. Thank you for choosing Starbucks. Whatever you order today will be free. Congratulations on your baby. Oh, wow. Thank you. So this is it. You can say goodbye to this beautiful, lovely room. And we are bringing home our son. Seems like everything's went by so fast. I said it before after Levy was born. I already feel like he's grown up way too fast.